Hey there, it's Melissa Zimmerman, virtual assistant and digital creator, and I'm here to show you how simple it can be to add hyperlinks to your Canva designs to really open up a whole new world of creation in your business. Today, I'm gonna to be using a newsletter template that I created and will be adding to the shop very soon, but this, what I'm gonna show you today, can work on any Canva design. So I'm going to make it a little bigger here. The first thing that I would wanna do with something like this template is make a personal header and link it to my website. So I'm gonna add the graphic in there, select the graphic, hit this little link button up in the corner, and I'm going to type in the address that I want it to go to. With a header graphic, you want it to go to your website. Oopsies, spell it right. <laughs> you want it to go to your website. If you don't have a website, you can link it to your social media, your Facebook, your Instagram, wherever you're building your business and you want to drive traffic to. I'm gonna click apply and I'm gonna show you how to do this because you can really do it on any element. You can do it on graphics, you could do it on an entire um, paragraph, you could do it on just certain, um, certain words. So I'm gonna select these ones. And I'm going to go up to these three dots, click the link. I'm just going to use the same website because I didn't think of another one before I started this video. Click apply. And so what it automatically does is it underlines it. If you don't want that underlined, like a link typically is, just select it again and click the, um, uh, the underline button to un-underline it. I think I made that word up. So the important part of this with Canva and how these links will actually work is the format that you download it in. So I'm gonna click download. You do not want to use PNG or JPEG, otherwise your links won't work. And you actually can see that little message here. It says, looks like you have links in your design, make sure you use PDF. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, for these purposes, standard or print doesn't really matter. Print ones are higher quality, so they're a bigger file size, which means that you might have trouble emailing something like a newsletter in a large file size. But for today, I'm just gonna click this one to show you how it works. So it's gonna download the file. We're gonna patiently wait while my computer catches up. And I'm gonna open it up. And you can see right away that my, like my cursor changes to a little finger point on the header. So I'm gonna right click and click open in a new tab just so I don't lose this one. And it brings you to my website. And the same here. So I'm just gonna click on this one. Now with Canva ones, if there's no option to um, create the link so that it opens in a new window. So unfortunately your recipients are going to have to click back. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but that was it. That's how simple it is to link an element in a Canva design. Let me know in the comments if this tutorial helped you. If you wanna stay up to date on future tutorials, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna check out this newsletter template, or other templates to help streamline your online health coaching business, check out melissazimmermanva.com. I'm looking forward to working with you soon and I hope you have an awesome day.